Good morning, guys. Kelly from Mystical Madness Healing. Thank you for clicking on to the video. I'm going to do a reading for Taurus. I've been shuffling them. Yep. All right, so here we go. Let's do a reading for Taurus. Spirit, what do you got for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know this morning? I thought one wanted to jump out, but it went back in. We got an Ace of Swords, okay? So that's um, that could be some kind of uh, project. Usually this is a clarity, like a yes, yes card. So let's see what... Whoa, okay. We got a couple here, okay? So clarity on receiving... Equal give and take, maybe after not getting that in the past. And there's another clarity yes card, the sun. The sun that reveals everything. Wow, so we got an ace of swords. Uh, either somebody wasn't giving you equal give and take or they're going to now. And with the sun coming out, I'm guessing that's... Uh, clarity that you're going to receive equal give and take if you weren't. Spirit clarified the, oh, that one didn't pop, but it, I had that, I, it, it popped out. Queen of Swords. Okay. Well, if there wasn't equal give and take in, in the past, I could see why you maybe were in your Queen of Swords or your sword up. Just making sure you're not going to get, you know, screwed over again or whatever. Spirit, please clarify this Queen of Swords. Two of Pentacles under the uh, Ace of Swords. Balance. So this, you needed to maybe balance yourself out. Now, I got the Six of Swords falling under the Six of Pentacles. So, Six, 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 six could be significant. But, uh, Six of Swords is like a uh, going on a journey card. See how there's an anchor being uh, dropped down from the sky? That That's from Spirit. So, I believe that this... With the sun card, too, is divinely guided here. Nine of cups. Nine of cups. Uh, success under the sun card. So somebody... Somebody's bossed up here. Leader, entrepreneur. That's a super good card. The sun and the nine of... Uh, Pentacles, that's a definite yes. All right, Spirit, clarify this Nine of... Did I say Nine of Pentacles? I meant Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the complete success card. It's a, People say it's like one of the best cards in the deck, even though it's not a major arcana, that and the Four of Wands. I said Pentacles, but I meant Nine of Cups. I think I... Said said it wrong the second time. Spare clarify the, the nine of cups here. Please clarify this nine of cups for Taurus. Strength. Strength. Perseverance. You could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> but that this is telling me with this uh, uh, Queen of Swords here in the strength. That you had to be really, really patient and understanding or get a new perspective in this scenario here. Okay, now we got the seven of pentacles. So you did sow your you you did sow your seeds. Um you planted your seeds here already in this relationship okay now you, you got a page of swords somebody is watching you and that's falling under this these uh sixes six of 
swords and six of pentacles. So somebody is watching you. Uh, page of swords could also be a, a passion project. I said that in the very beginning. This could just be, this reading could just be for you, Taurus, getting your nine of uh, cups here, your success. Looks like you walked away from something in the past, maybe a past relationship. Or you're walking away. No, you can't be walking away from the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Two of Cups. Maybe you walked away from a Two of Cups in the past. Because I know you were definitely in this five of, uh, you never made, yeah, you, you walking away from something you only made it to the five of cups with. So you left this five of cups conflict drama, definitely not an emotional and yep. And that's under the ace of swords. So this is telling me that you left a relationship here. And you're going into another one. We got a King of Cups. A King of Wands. That's who you're walking away from. You're walking away from this King of Wands. You have a King of Cups from the past. Um, that's going to give you equal give and take now. And... We have a hierophant here, so this is a um, this is a marriage card or a con commitment marriage divorce card. In this case, I'm it's a Taurus card too, but in this case, uh, it's saying that you definitely did walk away from something here with the the hierophant and the the eight of cups. You walked away from one relationship. And now you got a Knight of Wands coming in. Look at that fire. Um, the Knight of Wands could be a little... Uh, hold on. This Knight of Wands was in the past, though. This Knight of Wands could have been this King of Wands. All right. I'm not sure whom you walked away from. You either walked away from the King of Cups or the Knight of Wands. Because I highly doubt you would walk away from a King of Wands. The, the Knight of Wands is a little impulsive and player-like. But the King of Wands is intuitive, handsome, definitely knows, definitely knows where he's coming from. Uh, beating the drum, sounding the drum, coming in for you. For a two of cups. But I know that you definitely walked away from an old relationship here with the higher fin car. And you are the magician. So you made this happen. And you're getting your judgment, Taurus. Nine of one nine of ones. Uh, the battle's over. That's what this means. And with the ace of swords. Starting out the reading and the nine of wands ending it tells me that the battle is over. Oh, wait, someone's a star here. So now that, yeah, this makes sense with this uh, nine of cups here. So you're either dealing with an Aquarius or someone is a star in this, in this relationship. King of Pentacles. Spirit says to get out of this eight of swords mentality. Uh, you're stuck in your head or your person is, but you could be set free there. You got divine guidance there. The wings are sticking out and the cage is open. You could set yourself free. Someone was playing games with you in the past. That's over. And there was a seven of swords. There was a, there was a betrayal here in the past. Again, that's past energy. 
So, okay, now this is even better because you started with the Ace of Swords, which is like a, a clarity card saying that this reading is going to be clarified by what comes out at the bottom of the deck. I'm th this is just what I'm making up in my head because now you got the Four of Wands. That's also one of the best cards in the deck. Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, Celebration, Happiness, Family, I'm ending it there, Taurus. This is a good reading. A little confusing. However, I definitely feel like any of the negative cards or negative energy here was in the past or it was because you were leaving that past relationship and you're still getting over it. And I'm surprised the, um, the Four of Cups hasn't come out, the... the you know, looking at the past too much, which is good for you because it's been. But as I looked down, I said I was done, but there's no way I can not show you the Wheel of Fortune. Um, that's good luck. That That's good luck coming your way, uh, ending of an old cycle and starting anew with somebody that you love. Good reading, Taurus. Hope this helps. Have a good one.